Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Corey, and in this video, I want to show you guys the unboxing of that PC right there. That's the iBuyPower, one of their pre-built uh, pre PCs. So if you guys are like me, I've always been curious as to how they perform and just the overall look of them and, and a few other factors. So go ahead and press the like button if you guys wanted to see what the iBuyPower experience would be like if you were unboxing it for the very first time, just like I have already done. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I know it's been a long time since I uploaded it. A video but i wanted to get this one out to you uh, i've got a, a lot of cool things that are in the works like brand new gear and a whole bunch of other good stuff so stay tuned and i appreciate you guys some support and uh enjoy the video see you guys in the next one all right guys what's up hopping into a little voiceover action just want to show you the beautiful shot above and overall the first experience you guys will see when you unbox your iBuyPower pc so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and of course, always have to show a little bit of a box overview for everyone. And of course, the initial opening of the box to show it has not been tampered with. And again, just an over the shoulder shot, kind of what you should expect to see when you unbox yours. And you'll be greeted with this quick start guide. Uh, of, again, kind of a thank you for your purchase and some other documents, uh, kind of how to troubleshoot and a few other things. So unboxing it is kind of, kind of heavy. I had to do this by hand, uh, by myself, of course. So if you have a second person to help you out, that might be a little bit easier. But it did come with this nice plastic case to help keep dust particles and things out. And, of course, a nice warning uh, cheat sheet and that red label you see. Uh, showing you guys a few things to look out for. And, and same thing with these white tabs here. Uh, but you guys can see that it's kind of shrink-wrapped with this uh, plastic sheath, if you will. And then along the top, as I just pointed out, too, it's a nice little dust cover. So peeling these back, it's a great feeling obviously uh, well protected from a lot of those death particles. And then of course you do have uh, another one on that side. Came with keyboard. Uh, in fact, it was kind of odd. I did, not, I did not order a keyboard. It's got a decent tactile feel for a very stock basic keyboard. And then peeling back this sheet here exposes all the USB elements, HDMI, et cetera. So this is a really important sheet for you guys to know. It does tell you how to remove the panel safely uh, with these uh, knobs. For my particular case, you simply unscrew them, one at the top, one at the bottom, and then you can take the plastic tempered glass, <laughs> not plastic, but tempered glass peel off. And then taking off this little caution decal is always very satisfying. Now, taking it off, uh, it's got a good weight to it, of course, being very careful. And then you'll be exposing this big old white packaging thing. Uh, obviously, it's there to protect the internal components, and it tells you uh, that with on those, those labels there. So kind of keeps it nice and snug, so those get shooken around a little bit less in transit. Uh, but again, they do recommend that you check out all the cables and make sure everything was nice and tight and nothing got disconnected while it was getting shipped out to you in your home. So removing this uh, gives you a beautiful shot of the internal pieces. And again, kind of the first out of the box, everything looks great uh, from what I can tell. And nothing was disconnected, nothing looked odd or wonky. And of course, um, moving off that sheet to, to the side. Now that's the little dust cover that protects the top vent. Uh, very cool, did not expect that to be on there either. Uh, in fact, and then uh, there's some other kind of back pieces you want to incorporate. Uh, having my daughter help me out with that, <laughs> she loves doing it. Plug the power in, and you're pretty much good to go. They're ready-built PCs. They, uh, they come ready to, to start. Also came with this little gaming mouse. Uh, it's a decent wired mouse. Uh, nothing too special about it. it it's a lot uh, better uh, feeling than some of the other kind of, uh, I want to say cheaper mice. But at the same time, it is a stock mouse. But it is convenient that they give you a keyboard and a mouse combined. Uh, and then pressing on the power button, you can see that everything works right out of the box minus my LED fans. I had a bit of a trouble getting those to connect, but overall ended up figuring that out, as you guys can see from the initial footage. Um, beautiful RGB lighting uh, throughout the keyboard, the mouse, the mouse, and of course the uh, computer itself. So really, again, kind of a beautiful design right out of the box. Uh, it all works well, minus those LED fans. Got those to work out. Um, simple Google search kind of fig, uh, fixed that. Um, and even then, the iBuyPower support team was very helpful and uh, prompt to help me out with the issue. So props to those guys as well. Um, some view shots at the end here. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If you liked this very fast, uh, over-the-shoulder shot kind of unboxing of the iBuyPower PC, one of the ones that I picked up, uh, definitely let other people know by liking the video and it gets promoted to other folks as well who are looking for this same kind of thing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all take care and have a great day.